You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone like the L. Lady, if your pussy smell like water, put a cell phone like the L. Fellas. Lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone like the Let's be L. real about this shit. Yeah, keep it fucking real. That was the baby, who I now realize has the maturity and intelligence of one performing at the Rolling Loud Festival this weekend. Why he decided to deliver that call to action, nobody knows. And yes, he wants us to call it a call to action, not a rant. So I'm gonna respect that. So he's getting a lot of backlash for his homophobic call to action. So he decided to go on his Instagram story to explain and it went real well. What me and my fans do at the live show, it don't concern you niggas on the internet or you bitter bitches on the internet. It's not y'all business. You know what I'm saying? Like what I do at a live show is for the audience at the live show. It'll never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip from their goddamn crib. Hey the baby, it's the internet here telling you that no, no, that's not how reality works. Um, homophobia does translate across all forms across all venues. So yes, we are gonna call you out on it. And can you please change the battery on your fire alarm? I say, if you don't got AIDS, put a cell phone light up. I say, if you ain't suck dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone lights up. Look, all the lights went up gay or straight. You wanna know why? Cause even my gay fans don't got fucking AIDS, stupid ass niggas. They don't got AIDS. My gay fans, they take care of themselves. They ain't going for that. They ain't, they ain't no nasty gay niggas. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no junkies. You know what I'm saying? On the street. Man, yeah, you talking about, nigga? Then I said, if you ain't suck dick in the rolling loud parking lot, put your cell phone light up. You know what my gay fans did? Put that motherfucking light up, nigga. Because my gay fans, they ain't got niggas. They ain't going for that. They got class, nigga. I ain't sucking no dick in no parking lot, nigga. You gotta get a room, nigga. A good one, five star hotel. He's not done. He's still going. Yeah, you gotta wait till they go to the crib, nigga. They ain't just gonna be out here just doing no anything. Yeah, if they a fan of me, they got them. They on some big dog shit. We ain't just going for nothing. You know, even my gay fans got standards. Y'all nigga tripping. Y'all bringing negative attention and energy upon yourselves and the ones that's doing it. It's people who didn't even attend the show. Don't be disturbing my motherfucking gay fans and goddamn making them feel uncomfortable in their skin. The only person making gay men feel uncomfortable with this situation is you, the baby. And he also wanted to point out that he noticed a man wearing a crop top at a show who was having a good time. So I guess the baby's saying he has a gay fan, so he's allowed to say this kind of stuff. So we're not done. So jumping into this to give his two cents is T.I. So T.I. wrote on social media, if Lil Nas X can kick his shit in peace, so should the baby shrug equality. Okay, now that comes off as, since Lil Nas X is allowed to be gay, then the baby is allowed to be homophobic. Now, here we go, T.I decides that he's going to go on Instagram Live and explain himself. Ugh. Oh, social media is full of confusion. And words are often misconstrued. I respect gays, especially the ones who have the courage and the bravery to step out and live in their truth. You know what I mean? I respect that. I think any human being, man, walking this earth who has the bravery and the courage to live their truth unapologetically. I respect that. I got a lot of respect for motherfuckers like Lil, for, uh, Lil Nas X and motherfuckers like Frank Ocean, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers who step out there and live their truth. Honest with themselves. The Lil Nas X shit, the performances and video, man, I got a lot of respect for bro because I, like I said, he had, you know, he had the courage to live his truth, but that shit ain't for me. It just ain't for me. I ain't got no bit of looking at it. I, don't, yeah, I just can't look at it. It ain't for me, right? But I feel the same way, and I don't want my children seeing it either. I don't want my children seeing it. 
You know what I mean? Because their minds haven't, haven't, haven't developed to the, to the place where they can wrap their minds around those type of experience and those types of uh, visual presentations and know how to sort it out within their, their, their perception. You dig? But I feel the same way about the WAP video. I actually enjoyed the WAP video a little bit better, but I still feel the same way. It's the same thing. But if you're going to have a WAP video, you're going to damn sure have a little Nas X video. And if you're going to have a little Nas X a uh, 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 video and him living his truth you gonna damn sure have people like the baby who gonna speak their truth and it ain't nothing wrong with none of it ain't no it ain't got to be no hate it's all honesty like i don't even know <laughs> i don't even know what to say about these two okay ti so yes if you're saying that since Lil Nas x is gay the baby's allowed to be straight very true that's not what you said in the circumstance and you step you decide to weigh in on this topic. So you're saying that since Lil Nas X is allowed to be gay, then the baby can be homophobic. Can you imagine if that was the mindset towards any minority or any difference in anybody? So you're saying like, since there's different sexes, then people are allowed to be sexist. Since there's different races, people can be racist. No TI, that's not how it works. Now going back to the baby, I need to settle in here, okay. So the baby, first off, where did this come from? Like, I mean, you don't just decide to go on stage and say that my fans don't perform oral sex in cars. Like, did he watch some like weird video right before the show? I'm not accusing the baby of being gay and that he performs oral sex in cars. I'm not saying that, but that just doesn't come out in the works. So obviously he had a conversation. There's some reason it prompted this call to action by him. Like, I don't even know, like we're still in this kind of mindset, this homophobic mindset that there's a lot of gay men performing oral sex in cars and getting AIDS and dying within two weeks. That's not true. Uh, that baby, a lot of that is not true. <laughs> but no, people that, that contract AIDS do not um, die in two, in two to three weeks. But yeah, like this mindset is still out there. Um, sorry to tell you the baby, there's straight people that are having oral sex in cars too. But like this idea, like I don't like I don't even want to go into a rant about it because it's, it's so ridiculous. And the fact you're defending it to baby is crazy. So yeah. I don't even want to go into it anymore, but no, gay men, as a gay man, I can tell you we're not all having oral sex in cars and maybe some of us are, and that is fine. But I don't know, baby, you lost me on this one.